What's up everybody, Chris from Full Steam Designs. I got a great project laid out for us today. I'm gonna to show you how I make these catch-all trays. I'm gonna be using Carbide Create, but this should be something that you can do in just about any program. I edge glued a couple boards together for this project. Let's go ahead and throw that in our machine and then we'll jump into Carbide Create and get designing. If you've watched any of my other videos, you probably know that these cheap homemade clamps are my go-to method for holding down my workpiece. I like to use Craig screws to secure them. Alright, we'll start in our job setup screen. I've got this set to my material size, which is 10.5 inches by 12 inches by 0.8 inches thick. We're working from the top of the material. I have zero set to the lower left. I've selected hardwood for material. I have Shapoko XXL selected, and my retract height is set to 0.2. I'm running pretty low profile clamps, so I don't have to worry about crashing into those. I have inches selected, and now we can click OK. Let's go ahead and import an SVG. We'll come up to this import external file, and I'm going to import this EGA. We'll click Group Elements and Done. And now I just want to resize it by clicking on this button here. I'm going to make it 9 inches wide. We can just click and drag it over a little bit. And now what I want to do is draw an outline around this. So I'm going to select this Offset Path make sure we change this to outside and I want it to be a half an inch. Now I want to do an outline on the inside of this line here. We have inside selected and I'm gonna make that 0.3. Now I've got some shapes that I don't really want in the final design here. If you click on the EGA you'll see what should be there and you'll see that this stuff here is extra so we can just click on these and delete them. And we'll click the EGA one more time just to check it and it looks like we've got everything removed. Let's select everything and just move it so it's on our stock. And Now we can start laying out our tool paths. We'll click the Toolpath tab. I want to start with this inside outline. We're going to go to Contour. And I'm going to use a quarter inch two flute bit for this. I've input my own bit into this and I've got a tutorial that shows you how to do that. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can follow along with that if you'd like. So we're making a catch tray and what we're doing here is cutting our pocket for that tray. So we're going to set our max depth to 0.4. We'll make sure we select pocket and we'll just name it as pocket. Click OK. And now I want to select the EGA. If I do it on this screen, it's just going to select individual pieces. So what I'm going to do is go over to the design tab, select the EGA because we have it grouped together. And then we'll go back to the toolpath tab and now you can see that the EGA is still all selected here. And what we're going to do is click on this Advanced V-Carve button. The reason we need to use Advanced V-Carve is because that's going to allow us to set a start depth. And we're going to set that depth to the same depth that we cut our pocket to, which was 0.4 inches. For the max depth, we just need to make sure that it's deeper than the bit will actually need to go. And since this design isn't too wide, it shouldn't have to go too deep. I'm just going to put in 0.6 for that. And we'll name this as EGA. Now there's one more thing we have to do. We're going to select this outside outline. We're going to click contour. And again, we're going to use that same quarter inch two flute bit. For this, we'll set the depth to 0 0.805 because I want to cut all the way through the material. We need to change it to outside 
and we're going to put some tabs in. These tabs are just going to keep this from moving when we cut through. And we'll change those to 0.5 by 0.1 inches and click OK. And now we'll name that as outline. All right, and now we can check out our simulation. And as you can see, we've pocketed it. We've engraved the EGA into the bottom of that pocket. And then we went and did an outline where we left some tabs. So now all we've got to do is save the G-code. We're going to save this as three individual G-codes. So we'll start by disabling the EGA and the outline, and we'll just save the pocket. Now we'll disable the pocket and enable the EGA. Now we'll disable the EGA and enable the outline. All right, now we're ready to get this set up and cut out. I'm just putting my quarter inch end mill in here and then we'll go ahead and set zero. My preferred method for setting zero is the paper method. Uh, it's accurate, it's reliable, and it's just one less thing that I need to worry about if I do it myself. We'll just jog the z-axis down until it starts to pinch this piece of paper and makes it so that we can't move it anymore. And then we'll go ahead and click set zero and zero z. And that's it, we're all done. All right, we're done cutting our pocket. We have some light lines in the bottom, which could be an indicator that something is either loose on our machine or our tram is off, and we need to adjust that. The ones that I have in the bottom of this really aren't too bad, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of 220 grit sandpaper to clean it up. There's one super important thing that I need to stress, and that is that our zero is always going to be off the top of this material. We do not have to zero this off the bottom because we use that advanced V-carve. So in a minute, we're going to throw a new bit in this, which is going to be this 60 degree V-bit, and we're going to V-carve the bottom of this. But because we set it up using the advanced V-carve, the zero is set off here. So whether you use a piece of paper, you use a bit setter, or however it is that you're setting your zero, you always will be setting it off this. That is super important. All right, so I talked about resetting zero, but real quick, I just wanna show you something. I actually don't have to reset zero because I run these depth stop collars and I put them on all my bits. And what they do is they set everything to the same exact length. So all I have to do is remove this quarter inch two flute end mill, and I'm just gonna slap in this 60 degree V bit. I don't have to re-zero it. I don't have to change anything. And just put it in and hit start. So now that we've changed our bit, we'll just go over to run and we'll load our new file, which is going to be the EGA vCarve. Hit start. <laughs> Thank you. 
I like using these little nylon brushes just to clean up any of the excess fibers that are left down in the engraving. This one came from a kitchen tool that is used to make noodles out of zucchini. And that's all I've got to say about that. I know this is a terrible shot and showing the back of my arm really does nothing for you, but just really wanted you guys to see in real time just how long these bit changes take when you use these depth collars. I really like these. These have really improved my workflow. These really work well for me. They're very reliable. I just can't say enough good stuff about them. And I did a video on how I set these up. I'll put a link down in the description for that too. All we need to do is load up our final operation, which is the EGA outline, and just hit start, and we're ready to go. All right, so we didn't actually cut all the way through, but that's all right. I'm gonna use my jigsaw to finish the cutoff. You could also use something like a bandsaw or even a coping saw if you didn't have either of those. All right, now I'm just gonna use this palm sander with a 5 16 round over bit to round over this bottom edge. And that's also gonna clean up all of this extra material here. Something important to remember here is that your imagination is your only limit when it comes to making stuff like this. These make great gifts for people. They're really quick and easy sales. And I mean, you can literally do anything. Who wouldn't want a baby Yoda catch-all? After sanding, I coated it with Odie's oil and then let it sit overnight before buffing it out. <laughs> 